So hi, this is uh, Tony, the digital lad here. <laughs> um, just made a deck with, uh, I don't know, this is, I don't know if this deck already has been invented or what, but um, I think it's kind of funny. I call it Leyline Flash. Uh, and the deck list is uh, quite simple. Um, the deck it has the ley line of anticipation. <clears throat> and I'm trying things. It's not complete. I feel it. But the main cards, the, the core of the deck is the, lay, the blue ley line. Um, Wilderness Reclamation. And the Vivian. Champion of the Wilds. And you guys who are involved in Magic, you, you kind of understand what the deck is about by seeing those three cards. Actually, by just seeing the blue and the green enchantments, you kind of guess that you want to cast uh, twice the amount of spells and preferably creatures with uh, uh, on end step, or you can be more reactive to what what uh, the other person is doing. Um, so, and preferably casting big threats on his end step, like uh, Voracious Hydra um, or the other Hydras. I have uh, other Hydras. I also run um, the Frilled Mystic the, for counter spells that has flash, but um, it's a good creature to have anyways. Especially you can play a creature in your main phase, and then with, with Wilderness that Reclamation, you get to untap. And if the, the, the opponent plays a threat or a board wipe or something, you can always counter it with the Frilled Mystic. Um, so I'm thinking perhaps I should, should play four of these. Um, and skip the ley line of abundance um, because I'm not too sure that this is um, yeah I'm doing that I'm definitely crafting those um, so let's see how the deck performs um, unfortunately I played the first game with the deck uh, uh, and I did not record unfortunately because the deck was performing exactly the way I thought it would uh, I start with uh, this is kind of not the hand you want so I'm gonna mull this oh my god this is not uh, so much better I'm gonna mull this again I'm kind of ha kind of have to keep this I'm gonna throw Kind of want to throw that and that. Um, yeah, but in that game, I got the Paradise Druid. I got Blue Ley Line on on on, uh, on my starting hand, which I think is uh, what the deck needs. Then I I, I got the uh, the blue the Wilderness Reclamation. Uh, I also had the uh, Paradise Druid. So I got to play the whole game kind of reactive with the blue ley line in, in play. It's, um, I bet it bolts this. I sure would. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, I have one. Um,. So I'm gonna just pass because this deck is supposed to be reactive. Um, yeah, but like I said, and the deck performed beautifully. I also got the Vivian on hand. Um, so yeah, so it's all about instant, instant answers, uh, preferably. <laughs> yeah, but you know the, these decks, you know sometimes they fail, sometimes they don't. When you have the Wilderness Reclamation. On the board um, it's more or less it's like having the turbo activated I think the deck will perform just fine without so now I'm thinking should I put the counter on because I really need to draw some cards 
But I should have put or should I put a threat on the board? I think I should put a threat on the board. Um just to see his response. And he has no response. Now I got the blue ley line, unfortunately. Um not a land. Um yeah. So do I want to attack? I think so. But first I need to draw a card. So what's he is he trying to oh yeah yeah. He has probably full control mode and not you know not gaming. Okay, so now I have to toss a card. Um I have the full combo of cards I want right here. So I'm thinking of ditching the frilled mystic. Just because I want to show you guys what's it about. If you have those three cards out, you're kind of unstoppable. As far as I can tell anyway, at least if you're playing basically most decks, I don't know. Uh, I assembled the, the, the combo before the fourth, since I have the Paradise Druid. I've played uh, Wilderness Reclamation turn four, I think. And you should probably be able to, to handle, oh, fortunately, not, uh, not the card I needed. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? The thing is, I'm 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 looking for lands. I don't care about this. So I think I'm just gonna hurt him. See what he does. No. See if he has something. No. Should I play my Vivian now? Yeah, I'm playing the Vivian to see. You know, it's the second time I play this deck, and I, I, I'm, I for sure think there's room for improvements. Um, I probably should have played before combat, but I want to see what, uh, what cards I can see. Oh my God! That's unfortunate, but yeah, sometimes you have to play a game of chance. Um, okay, I, he got to throw back. Okay, so what I would have done, I think, is uh, played the ley line. And then the turn after, Wilderness Reclamation. The thing is, you should start with ley line in hand, because then you're kind of fine. Now we're getting started. So this is oh yeah, Oof. lucky me, lucky me. So I think I have to go with the wilderness reclamation. And plus. So I can protect my Vivian from not being killed, I think. And this guy, he, he bounces. Okay. He, he didn't see that. I didn't see that coming, man. I want to keep... Alright. This spell can't be countered. Because on instant you draw a card. Huh. Okay. Okay. So 
So he's after hurting my Vivian for sure. Uh, I, the Hexproof doesn't protect from an attack. I sure would have liked it to be. Um, so now I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna... Uh, no. No, no, I'm gonna take my turn. So now I play the ley line. I plus on that. I will go no attacks. Yeah. But I think I can have a say in this. Okay. He's gonna target. I think I'm gonna do that. <sighs> His trigger is before my trigger. Yeah, now he gets to draw a card. Um, might as well play my Paradise Druid also. So I think I can kill my kill his Niv Missed if he was supposed to attack. Because this guy I think is quite quite a nice combo with the ley line. So now all my permanence is hexproof until end of turn. So you can't hit anything. I have to sacrifice my cutthroat if he's attacking my... Oh no, he's probably gonna kill my Vivian anyway. So I have to rely on top decks now. That's not good. Oh my god! <laughs> That's something I, I don't think I can deal with it. Um, I don't think... Yeah, he's attacking me. I, that That is fortunate for me. Because next turn, I can do that. I can also play, I think I need more protections. Um, I'm going to copy the Vivian, of course. Um, I need to find something. <laughs> Those do not... Uh, count. I think I am quite dead. I think. Um, no attacks. So now I can use my. Yeah, he's shooting that, of course, of course. But I want to do that in response. So I'm thinking this is in my colors. It seems kind of cool. Uh, man. What happened? Why this... Why... Why did it went? Why did it go to the jar? Okay, cool. So now at least I can kill. But I think I am quite dead. I think this guy is just brutal, man. <laughs> it's, just a, it's a seven seven flyer, man. And when he hits, he gets 4 damage to any target, which means he can kill my Cutthroat. Yeah, yeah, of course, that's a good game. I can't deal with that. So I need more... I think I need more kind of... Um, if that would have been a best of 3, I probably would have... Um, I probably would have um, included... Uh, like... Um, Essence Scatter, I think is a good um, um, 
it's a good addition or essence capture perhaps it's even better but what do I remove well it's a two color deck um, perhaps two lasso tap plating um, I have the Frilled Mystic also. So that deck was a wash. You know, I don't think, um, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this deck is fun because you get to cast a lot, a lot of things, but it's definitely not, not uh, finished, but I like it. Um, okay, so no Ley Line, which is kind of the not, no more lay, no ley line. There you go. That's a keep. So now I have to toss, I think, the Hydra and an island. Yeah, submit it. So hopefully. Oh my god, no! Not a mono red deck. What the f is up with people playing the red decks in? Uh, oh, please play a mountain and a steamkin. Please, so I can counter it. Please do it, man. Oh no. Well, that's hilarious. Well, it's kind of dangerous to uh, to minus now, but hey. All right. All right, all right, all right. What do I need? I definitely want that. I guess he's bolting the Vivian now. Man. So, or is it the... Oh, it's a gutter snipe. That I would have needed my... Uh, for... Okay, okay, okay. So what do I do, man? Is he seeing this card? He's not seeing this card. So I'm thinking I'm plusing just to be sure and I'm submitting the zero creatures. And since I have the ley line, this is what it's, the deck is supposed to be. Um, if he's attacking with the gutter snipe, I'm throwing the Benth Benthic Biomancer under the bus. As it's as it is called. But I'm betting he's just bolting to... No? Oh my god. Please tell me. But I, I don't see... I could have played the Paradise Druid. And because it's so effing important. Because he will probably kill... While the counter is on the stack and the Paradise Druid, he, she has Hexproof. So I'm kind of... Paradise Druid is the sure way of getting that bastard killed. Because Gutter Snipe unchecked, it's monstrous. So he, he can't do anything about the blocker. He can only like do a flurry of sorceries, I guess. Or instance, yeah. Like a lightning strike to her, uh, kind of expected, but at least it was not to my face, and I get to draw another card the next next turn. So he's <laughs> yeah, that was well, that would have been ten damage unchecked, and I drew Oblivion, which is um, beautiful. <laughs> I think it's um, really beautiful. 
So another risk. Um, I don't need actually uh, none of those cards. So yeah. Oh, why did I play it on main? Yeah, because I wanted creatures. But anyway, that was. I think it's a misplay. What if he would have played another? Okay, so he 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 has to riot and he. All right. But when I got the idea for the deck was when I was playing sealed. That's usually how I get most my deck ideas, is from playing sealed. Shivan fire. Okay, that's brutal, man. So. And I got the ley line in my pool a few times, actually. I think two or three times. And every game I played it, and I had it in my starting hand, I had so much the upper hand just from the get-go. Um, so now I'm kind of mana screwed. So I'm plussing. Uh, and just doing nothing. Because if he's, you know, if he's attacking, he can, you know, assign nothing as no, he, it's, there's no blockers. And I guess he has to assign on attack, I guess, if I read the card, whenever someone attacks, so he has to attack me. Um, but do I want that? He has four mana. And it's not attacking my planeswalkers, which I think is I don't know, I don't I don't care, it's just two damage. But against the red deck you kinda wanna stay above ten. Because they can do a, a brutal amount of damage. Okay, so a swab goblin. Well yeah, I kinda have to counter that. Yeah, more goblins, a spark double, I'm still kind of mana screwed, I need mana. <laughs> um, perhaps 22 lands is not enough. I, she's dead anyway. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> and I got an expensive creatures, Exp an expensive creature. Um, I don't know. I was thinking of building this deck with uh, white, but no. Oh, he's attacking that, and then me, I guess. Okay, so this will be quite funny, because he has to assign that on attack, and this is a supplies. So I get my planeswalker gets to live another day. He can always bolt it, but the block has been assigned, so it doesn't matter. It's still blocked. So if I drew another land, oh the frill mist. My god, this is crap. Perhaps I should I need to I you know, this is usually what I do. I build a deck, then I play, then I go back to the drawing board and I look for, you know, my thoughts during the game is really, um, you know, kind of how, how, the, how the thing goes. And now he's not giving a crap about my, <laughs> which I think is smart. But, uh, yeah, I don't live to see another day, I guess. Even if I were to draw a land, what can I do? I can flash in and kill one of those. And he has four, two cards in hand. He should be, oh yeah, that's a menace creature for sure. So I'm dead either way. Oh, there's my fourth land. Um, yeah, what can I do? I, I can't do anything really. Because even if I were to say block that, he would attack me with everything. 
Uh, spark double that to do what? No. Well, I let me see if this works. I don't think this works. I get to see, I get a paradise druid. But she's the next. Oh yeah, I can play her. Be cool. But that doesn't matter. Um, I need two blockers. Not one. So I kind of have to concede this one. And I have to see, yeah, maybe I should put in more lands. But I have, or increase... How many Paradise Druid was, uh, was in the deck? Four. I'm not too sure about the negates. But perhaps remove the negates, increase uh, one of those, and uh, one more land. So I have uh, 23 lands. Let's see if that tips the curve or the boat. But yeah, that's that's one why I like to play sealed, because you get a lot of good deck ideas. Or good, or fun anyway. Oh, it's almost 11 o'clock, and um, I think for sure I need to be getting to bed because I'm up to play a pre-release with my son tomorrow. Um, Brineborn Cutthroat. Well, at least I have uh, flashy creatures on hand. Oh yeah, man, I should have, I should have, <laughs> I should have a mulligan. Because I, I didn't have the... This this deck is also kind of using... Um, um, misusing the... The new Mulligan rule. Uh, do I want that in the air for uh, X amount of times? I don't think so. So, no. Yeah, four life gain. <laughs> I, I mean, five. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah. So now I just play my land and pass. Because I don't want to spark double the cutthroat. No, no, no reason to. So he's he's now trying to. Okay. So I'm not in a hurry. So I think I'm just gonna. Do no blocks and see what his play is. Because he has to have a play, man. Yeah. I want to counter that. Yeah, I want that action. So. I think that could work. Let me see. But that doesn't have flash, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's crap. So the spark double is for, you know, copying a Hydra or um, a Planeswalker. Usually a Planeswalker. Um, So let's see if he's up for it. I think he's kind of kind of nervous, you know. All you always are when you're playing a blue deck who doesn't play anything. <laughs> uh, it's always like, yeah, do I want to play this or what? Oh yeah, I think he's going all in now. Um, no, why would I? And on end step. 
Yeah, a Biomancer. Well, that's a cool card because I can always um, put a counter on and draw myself a card. Oh man, do I want... I want all of these. Because the land makes him go to... to 6 mana. And the Spark Tub, I think, is the weaker card here. Um, all attack. All aboard. That's a, a terrific amount of damage if he's not blocking. Oh yeah, he is. So probably he has uh, some some idea if if oh he is mana screwed for sure only one white ma white mana so he's probably is a double white mana or like the angel or something like that the, the life gaining angel three drop which is insane oh uh, destroy toy creature and opponent controls woo lucky me <laughs> uh. Would have been so cool with the. Not cool, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah. So I'm just attacking with this dude. Yeah. Yes, Vigilance, but no Trample. That sucks. Trample or Flying. That's also one thing I was thinking about. Yeah, why? Yeah, I would have done that exact block myself. Or I think I would have just kept... take the hit because usually the vampire decks can can gain a bunch of life and that life is usually based on the amount of vampires on the board so perhaps tim hasn't been playing magic for that long or i don't know probably because he's playing a ven vengeon ven i don't can't even pronounce that that's a six drop for four with lifelink okay cool but so what um no, he gets to kill both. Um, yeah, I go no blocks because I'm. I can. Like, it's gonna be brutal for him. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. So death toucher, and I have no spot removals. That's one thing. Probably should go with like unsummon or you know one of these sheep sheep removals. That's a good. You control, unfortunately, you control. So I have a 2 4 flyer, and he has the city's blessing. And if I'm not aggressive, he is not. Oh, why did it? Yeah, yeah. I kind of have to. Pound him. He's blocking with the Death Toucher for sure. That's why I copied uh, that one. But the other dudes, yeah, and you're taking three. He shouldn't probably shouldn't have attacked with the uh, with uh, the other dude. And I'm now taking one. So let's change that to white. I don't know, you can probably make some, create some secret language with the colors of these dudes. Now I'm kind of have to force to block his um, self sucking vampire. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to say that, but. My god, time's running out for me. I have to get to bed. Yeah, you're attacking. I get it. I kind of have to block that. 
What's that hasn't? Uh... He has a bunch of life. Oh, what the? F Was it on death? Oh my god! It was on the death trigger. I totally misread that. So that's a concede. Doesn't matter what I do there. So now I've um, been testing the deck. Uh, it's not going that well, but hey, um, at least I'm I'm gonna post this video as my first video, I guess, on YouTube. Um, been playing, um, you know, just trying recording and stuff. So, but uh, hey, that was uh, fun. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading more stuff as time goes on and I become better at this. Um, the game I'm quite quite good at, at least. I like it. I love it. Uh, but um, yeah, I've just been doing this for a couple of weeks, I guess, a month perhaps at max. So um, thanks for watching and uh, keep watching. Bye.